Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to configure a custom domain using name servers. All right, so uh, this is useful when you want to take your entire domain and have it run a Titan Web project. Um, we've done a separate video for subdomains. In this instance, we will configure the entire domain uh, to go to the Titan Web project. Um, just note, that you can have a single project running on a single domain. All right, so let's head over to Tools, Custom Domain. We'll click on the configuration and we'll put in our URL. So we'll do something like this. And we'll leave the scope. And now we can decide if it's a subdomain or not. It's not a subdomain in our case. And we'll hit register. And what that will do is give you name servers for configuration. And where do you configure this? It is as simple as it gets. You head over to your domain wherever you registered it. And this instance is Namecheap, um, GoDaddy, other ones have the same thing. Or if you have already custom DNS, you can configure it over there as well. I'm just going to show you in this instance. And then the only thing you got to do is usually it comes in with the basic DNS. You got to make it custom and you just put in the name servers that Titan gave you. I'm not going to change this one since it's already running on one and I'll show you that in just a second. And when you're done, you just save it. Just keep in mind that um, it's going to take about four or five hours up to like 24 or 48 hours for the configuration of the name servers to take place in your domain registration uh, website. Okay, once that done, the only thing we got to do is hit apply. And then when we publish this, you will take a look that the URL is redirecting to your custom URL. I'm not going to actually publish this one because um, the name servers are not pointing to the correct place. I'm going to show that to you in just a second. So we'll head over to the tools again. And I'm just going to revoke it. I'll hit apply and save. And now let's move to our actual demo. So here I've already configured everything and it's pointing to the correct um, name servers for Titan. And if we'll hit publish and we'll launch the site, notice that we give you an SSL certificate automatically uh, just by using Titan and um, just get involved for instance we're moving from a page to a page you have your own domain running on the titan web platform and this is how it's done 